In this video, we're going to be installing this crankcase on a Freelander Cascadia. This is a revised version. As you can see, this hose right here is plastic. And they're going to sell you uh, an adapter. As you can see, the, the original one. This is, a, a, this is a 2013. And as you can see, this is this hose right here is a metal hose. And over there is, it goes straight into the block. And now you're gonna have to buy this adapter. And so this is the one we're gonna be installing. As you can see, it's leaking a lot of oil. I have a mess right here. So this is the reason we're gonna be replacing it. So the crane case itself, it's around $450, $450. And this adapter is like $150. So I'm gonna start by removing this bolts right here on this hose. I'm using a swivel to get into this space right here. And uh, it's, a, it's a 13 millimeter socket. So I'm gonna have to remove this other bolt right here for this line, just so I can get access to the bolt on the bottom. So I had to remove the bolt on this line just so I could bring it down a little bit so I can get access to the bolt on the bottom. Move this plug right here. So I'm gonna remove this plug right here. So in order to remove the plug, you have to remove this little cap. And then, and then you just press down the, this clip right here. You can use a screwdriver, just press it down. And ju just pull the plug out. So this is the clip that you have to push in right here. The one in the bottom. So now I'm just gonna remove this clip. Just holding the cables right here. So I'm gonna hit this hose just to get it on loose. So right there it's loose. So now I'm just gonna pull this hose out. So now I'm just gonna remove these bolts. Uh, I'm gonna remove from underneath. As you can see, I'm using a a 16 millimeter socket using a swivel. So I'm gonna remove the last bolt. I already removed the, the, the first three. They're already unloosened. And the last one I'm gonna be using a regular ratchet. It's just easier to get in get into it. It's a little hard to record underneath. So I'm gonna do my best. So this one is loose already. Let's see if I can. As you can see, it's off already. So I'm gonna remove this bracket for these cables, so I can get access to to remove the, the filter. So it's coming out now.
So I'm just gonna clean this area. This is a gasket. It comes with a new kit. So I'm gonna clean this whole area, all this oil, and bring in the new one. We're gonna be installing the adapter. We're gonna put some silicone around it. So I already installed the adapter and I also put the this bolt back in in place. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the oil separator back in place. So I already installed the this sensor right here. I took it off from the old filter. So this is the gasket that we're gonna be installing. So I'm gonna put the bolts in place where they go. As you can see this gasket holds them in place so it'll make it easier for you to align it so I'm gonna bring it up from here from the bottom So now the filter is in. You you're gonna have to play with it so you can bring it up. It's not that easy. And then you just align the, the bolt. So I'm just gonna tighten all the four bolts. So all the four bolts are tight now. So now I'm just gonna install the, this plug. I'm gonna put this clip back in. It goes right here. Just put this clip back in place for the plug. And then just push in the, the plug back in place. And on this hose, all you gotta do, since you have the adapter now, all you gotta do is push it in so it there's in place and all I gotta do now is just clip it in so right there is snapped in you want, might want to pull it out just make sure it's in place so right there it looks good so now I'm just gonna put this wire separators back in place there you go right here so you can hold them in place So now everything's put in place.
all the brackets are in place now all the four bolts are tight now so this is it for this video and thanks for watching